Hello everybody, my name is Eric and today we're going to be looking into this weird story. Microsoft's latest Windows update, one that among other things was fixing a security vulnerability related to the Windows installer and local privilege escalation, has been accused, especially in Japan, of breaking SSDs. So is it real? Uh, what's going on here? So let's take a look. So we can see this article in Tom's Hardware on the 19th, which is when the international press started to get to this. The rumors started in Japan a few days earlier. So some say that transferring 50 gigabytes can cause drives to vanish from the operating system. So people are not just saying like this is deleting your data, which has definitely happened. Microsoft has pushed updates that have deleted people's data. They're saying this destroys your physical drive, which is very difficult for software to do. Very difficult for malware to do. Uh, so let's let's try and figure out what's going on here. So in this article, and the main source for a lot of this is a Japanese ex-user called uh, Nekoro Cat, who was updating Cyberpunk, uh, and then the SSD disappeared. Now that's a strange bug. Now the earliest report was that this was tied to a company called Fison's flash controllers, especially. DRAMless, which basically it's an SSD that doesn't have cache. So they're slower, but they're still faster than hard drives. And because they don't have cache, all of those random writes have to immediately get flushed to the drive. So that was that was a theory, and that's uh, since been thrown out. Now, there was another really weird thing that happened here. This false document, I mean, it doesn't, at least they claim, well, there'd be no reason for them to lie. So I'll just say, yeah, this is a false document. Uh, started circulating online. Bison SSD controller issue summary, generated on the 20th of August 2025, affected models. And this looks exactly like a press release that you would see from a company that was having trouble. And these controllers, as you can see, are used in a lot of SSDs. Reports indicate that a Windows 11 24H2 update released in August 2025 has caused significant issues with certain Fizen SSD controllers, particularly older DRAMless and those utilizing host memory buffer technology. Fizen has confirmed issues with the PS5012-E12 controller and is investigating other models. So it's not clear to anyone where this document came from, other than that it didn't come from Fizen. Was it a competitor? Was it an angry person? Uh, was it someone who AI generated this for the lulls? We, we don't know. As someone who is not an expert on SSD technology, nothing in this presser looks wrong to me, uh, but it's it's faked. This could be... This, this is a bit strange. Now then Fizen decides, partially because of this, and because they had initially thought maybe there was something to this, to test this in their lab. Now Microsoft did their investigation, and they found that nothing happened. And you could think, well, maybe they're lying, but they would have access to some data. You know, all the tracking and so-called spying in Windows, they would have that to potentially show a big uptick. They, I know they have statistics, for example, for how many blue screens, and they do look for surges. Still, I think there is a software quality problem. Since Windows 10, Microsoft, uh, I think Barney Kill's Nerdgasm actually made a video about this, got rid of the majority of their uh, quality assurance team and just decided to make the public, both through insiders and also uh, regular updates, uh, be beta testers to some degree. But that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean every problem here happened. There is another problem that's worth noting, and that is if any problem is reported, because there are a lot of SSDs in the world. A lot of SSDs in Japan, probably billions. If, let's say, a million SSDs fail normally, right? And there's suddenly a report of something causing SSDs to fail. Well, people whose SSDs failed that week are now going to believe that they suffered from it. Now, something else I always look at whenever there's a panic about something that's kind of interesting, you can go on Google Trends. And first of all, this is SSD destruction in Japanese. This seems to be how the Japanese publications are reporting it. Now, we can note there's no real uptick in searches until well into the media frenzy period. Now, what if we replace that with SSD? We can see, all right, similar, no statistically significant change. And then here we get a, we get a bit of a spike. Now let's look at other countries, United States, nothing there, but if we do SSD fail, SSD failure, you can see right here there's a spike, but there's no, uh, if the update shipped here, you would expect to see 
we could try other other searches like drive disappeared one's pretty low volume try switching that to worldwide not a lot going on here and this is the actual source uh from the 14th of august uh where they went through and they tried and this is what they found this of course this is grok translation uh, nothing here looks wrong i did check this on some other translation sites uh, symptoms appear with over 60% usage after uh, 50 gigabytes. And this this person had some really weird... They, they tried many drives and saw the same thing. But then Microsoft and Fison tried, and they didn't find it. So it's just weird. I don't believe... I don't think this person is lying. I, that doesn't make any sense to me. They've been around here for a long time. I don't think this... I, I don't know. There's also this blog uh, from... Uh, note.com conclusions and full explanation of ssd damage problems once again this is ai translated so uh, just so you know if you're looking at the pros and you're suspicious this is translated that's why first take a look at the screenshot below windows 11 24 h2 on top and windows 10 on the bottom uh, totally the disk io in windows 11 is not timed correctly i have a ton of confidence in that translation so i'm just going to see if we can get better yeah, that, that looks a bit... That that one just kind of looked like it could have been wrong, so that's why I was checking that. This is Windows 11. It seems like uh, this blogger mostly does blockchain, but... So we can see, okay. But you can see these dips here. There's one problem with this testing, potentially. that That's an M.2. These are different drives. And this theory is if the I.O. timing is off, maybe... I don't, I don't think that's how that works. Personally, that that to me that article could partially be the translation doesn't make much sense. Now, what is real is that this update actually did have quite a few problems unrelated to this SSD. I'm gonna say hoax. I I don't think it's real, but I just kind of. Microsoft and software quality just seems to be a perpetual downward spiral. It breaks something with OBS because I think that was due to a permissions change. Certain .msi installers don't work, and uninstalling it doesn't work unless Windows Sandbox is disabled. Yeah. Here is my personal theory. After going through this, I tried a bunch of stuff. There was also one other theory I saw on a few Japanese forums that we should talk about briefly. And that is because, as you know, if you've ever read Japanese, right, there are a lot of kanji characters. And as a result, you can't fit every possible character into one byte. So a Japanese language uh, Windows version is using two bytes per character instead of one byte per character. There were some theories that could be related and that maybe there was some specific corruption in the NTFS driver if you had it set to that. I, I don't think so. My theory here is, kind of got picked up. Uh, someone had very bad luck and possibly had a bunch of SSDs that may not have been in great shape. Copying a 50 gigabytes of data in one go to an SSD that is over 60% full is an intensive load. As Fison said, if you're doing intensive work, you might want to have heat sinks on your SSDs so they're not getting too hot. And if you have an SSD that's on its last legs, putting it through a strenuous load that will heat it up could either kill or temporarily crash it. Many, many years ago, I had a hard drive that would come and go, dare I say, and it was, it was failing, and that's why it would come and go. It would vanish, and then it would come back. It made weird noises, and ultimately the thing didn't didn't have long to live but i can't help but think that's just what's going on here so that's gonna be all for me for now i would still recommend if you if you haven't installed this update already uh probably don't the security problem it fixes for most people is not going to be a big problem it's a local privilege escalation vulnerability within the windows installer and it seems like the fix here uh, was actually kind of broken anyways but so that's that's the fix uh, it did stop the security problem but it then created a it actually made the permissions too strict so that's going to be all for me for now please let me know what you think in the comments below have you had any bad windows update experiences over the years i've had plenty do you agree uh, windows quality over i i feel like really since 2015 has just been a steady uh downtrend that's all for me for now bye